Okay, covert criticism. Let's go there. So there's overt criticism, which is like, you're dumb, you're stupid, you'll never amount to anything, you can never do anything right, you know, that sort of thing. And then there's covert, which is hidden, or it's really hard to detect. But when they pick out one word from a story you're telling or a comment you're making, and they won't let it go because you misspoke just a little bit. So you're like, yeah, that one NBA guy. And they're like, NBA guy, I think you mean NBA player. And you're like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, no, you said NBA guy. And they won't drop it, right? Criticism thinly veiled as help or advice. Like, you should have blank. Why didn't you just blank? And then if you try to address it, they're like, I was just giving you advice. I was just trying to help you out, okay? Like, don't you want help from your husband? Like, I'm your partner. Why wouldn't you want me to help you? It's not really feels good, right? They're not acting like a partner. They're acting like someone who's, like, hurting your feelings. Comments about you to other people, like, every time we leave the house, I swear, she always forgets her keys. It's like she can't leave the house without forgetting, you know, she'd, she'd forget her head if it weren't screwed on tight. Um, ha ha, such a funny joke, but it's not funny, and it's also just sometimes not true. Like, it has nothing to do with you, and sometimes it is true. They, they exploit your vulnerabilities, and then they also undermine your weaknesses, the frustrating part about this is the more you try to address it, the more they call you sensitive. So this, these kind of um, covert abusers will call on other people, sometimes called flying monkeys or, you know, their entourage or something, to defend them. So go to the btr.org podcast to learn more. The link is in the bio.